All right, so I think this is like our third episode of Yeah Haircuts, my feedback. And y'all, you guys have been showing me a whole lot of love with this whole segment, with this whole idea. Um, you know, you guys have been asking me to do this. So, you know, I appreciate your feedback on my feedback on Yeah Haircuts. And uh, let's go ahead and get started with this one. So the first haircut is by 100SG. And you can tell this guy's experience. He's he's obviously working in the shop, from what I can see in the background. But yeah, this is this is a nice cut. He's de he he got the ash game on lock. I don't do a lot of ash stuff, but yo, that's a lot of ash. Is that? I don't know if that's spritz. I don't think that's just shampoo. I don't think that's just a clean canvas. That's got to be some spritz too. Let us know. Let us know what you're doing. Um, but yo, this is a dope cut, man. I mean, I appreciate you caring about my opinion but I, I i really can't tell you much man this is dope all right on to the next one so this one's by hilayona and uh i believe this was a female barber which is pretty cool that she's cutting hair and stuff so i mean for the cameras that you have you did a pretty good job um obviously the photo the camera isn't that isn't as good as you know i would have liked it to be but what i would tell you is like right here Obviously, he has some some um, some excess skin there, or whatever. So it can make it hard to blend that in. And right in this section, you can see where it's a little darker. That's what I mean when there's like dips in, in people's you know people's heads. That you gotta kind of either stretch the skin and get it and blend it, or um, go with a lower guard in that section to give the illusion that it's an even blend. See what I'm saying? Because right here is light, right here is dark. You want it to kind of be like this lightness all the way through here and kind of like bend down. So that would be my tip for that. Um, this side you did, you obviously did a better job. I do wish that the photo quality was good, but hey, good job, Heliona. All right, so this is by IMD Chi Guy. And yo, this looks like a photo out of a magazine. This is a really good haircut, man. Like the, the edge is super sharp, especially for like a, like a, a brown, like a light brown um, hair color. Uh, I like the blend that you did. It's like a, it's almost a subtle blend. It's not like too excessive. It's not like too tight on the sides with like a zero, for example. What was that? I think that was probably like a half or a, a one, or uh, probably a half. But it's a dope cut, man. Um, congrats, bro. Like, that's nice work. It's obviously, it's an undercut and well done. I could definitely see this being on on Instagram and and build, and helping you build clients up. On to the next one. This was by Tito So Fly. That's a good Instagram name. It's simple. It's to the point. There's no little extra things. Um, so let's go on with the haircut. I don't know about this length on the top. I literally would have coached this client. Like, it looks like he hasn't gotten a haircut on the top. Like on the sides, obviously it looks like you got a haircut, but on the top, there's a whole lot of scraggly hairs. They don't know if it, if it wants to lay down. I don't know if you put product in there, but like especially in this section right here, I definitely would have lowered that down. It just looks like a big, like like puffy. It looks like a poof right here in the front. I would have lowered it down so it laid nice and, and the lineup would have st stood out because it looks like a sharp lineup, but then you got this poof right here in the front. With this hair, hair texture, you gotta kind of coach your clients. And on the client like this, I literally would take the um, incentive and just do it, bro. Like I would just, I would just make it look how I wanted to look, and he, he he wouldn't know what I did to him, what I did for him, but he would notice a difference. You see what I'm saying? So I would have either went a little bit lower or a little bit longer. Like you gotta kind of make up your mind. You're kind of like in the messy stage of growing your hair out. You know what I mean? Um, so that's what I would tell you. The blend is straight. I mean. Um, Right here, it looks like it's a little jagged, but but overall, so it's it's a it's a good blend. Um, but yeah, at the top, I definitely would have coasted this client, definitely. And you know, with grays, grays tend to be more coarse, so they they kind of like you know they fight back. They don't want to you know lay the way you want to make them lay. So definitely, I, I would have said go lower. All right, so this one's by Paul with two A's, Kiho, and uh, this is a nice cut, man. Um, this, this reminds me of, of a haircut um, that I've seen in the past. And I see I see you got a red one in the background. You got a nice red one display. What do you think about that stuff? I got some in the shop too. But that's, that's a crazy display. That's pretty dope. Gives me an idea for 245. That's cool. Um, but yeah, like, like 
this is a dope cut, but it reminds me of a haircut. Like right here in the bottom, it just looks unfinished. It's like either line it up and taper it out or go all the way bald. It just looks like one of my fades two days after. You know what I'm saying? Like this, like the stubble, the five o'clock look. Um, I don't know. This is my, this is my opinion on that. Noel Diane. Oh, by the way, that was a good haircut, bro. Good haircut. Noel Diane. Okay, so right away I can tell you in the back you definitely struggled. Um, you probably went up a little too high with, with everything. I mean, and I, not just too high, but you started too high, and then you didn't spread it out enough, so it looks very blunt right here. See what I'm saying? Um, same thing here. You might have, I think you started too high, and then you didn't give yourself enough space to blend into this longer length. Like when you got longer length and you want to go from a zero, you got to start the zero down here. Give yourself space to transition into this longer length of hair. See what I'm saying? Um, here, so it looks better because obviously you just shaved it up to the top of the ridge and you you know, you didn't have as much length to, to blend into. But you know, I can see where you struggled here. I can see where you struggled in the back. And what I would tell you is start the zero down here. Give yourself all this space from here to here to create that transition so you have room to blend into this longer length of hair. Especially with this type of um, hair texture. Like you can see right in this section, it'll sprout out if you don't, if you don't cut it short enough or if you don't leave it long enough, it's gonna sprout like this. It's gonna stick up like this. See what I'm saying? All right, this one is by Jorge Alvarado 90 with the underscore in the middle. Okay, so kind of the same thing. I mean, you did a good job of leaving the blend lower. What I would say is right here with the one open, you probably didn't spread it out enough um, you did a good job though overall, like, it's tough to, to keep this, keep this hair from sprouting out. Mm. Sorry guys, to keep this hair from sprouting out, um, but, you know, you did a good, a decent job with considering this type of hair texture. This one is probably the worst screen name of all time. Um, this might be Joe with the blow from the last segment. Um, uh, this is... Ebro la 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 boom like how do you how do you tell people to follow yo follow me I'm at Ebro la 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 boom bruh come on come on it's a decent haircut like there's definitely like like choppiness like lines in here but like you know you can tell you have a good foundation you just gotta have that barber's eye step of step a few feet away one one trick that I that I learned is that like a, a fade might look good to you from like here to here but then when you step back a few feet you might notice some things or when you turn the chair and you look at it at a different angle you might be able to see these little lines right here and those are easy fixes that's just part of the detailing stage that i always talk about so but i mean this this could have been an a1 cut it's just like these little things and i'm being picky but these little things they matter to me when i'm when i'm fading and i'm sure they do to you too that's why you you're reaching out for feedback right so this one's by Lito the Barber. So this is cool. This is a popular um, fad in the, in the hair industry, right? In the barber industry, the the leaf thing. Um, I haven't tried it myself, so I'm decent with designs. It's not like my thing. You know what I mean? I used to be real passionate about it when I was learning. But um, this is this is cool, man. I could definitely see people people who don't cut hair looking at it and be like, "Yo, that's that's dope," and and that could help you build some clientele um i can't say much about it because i haven't tried it but um yeah i would like to see some of your uh some of your regular haircuts if you want to submit those so now we got bike the tone all right so this is i could i could see what you did here so Right here, you probably went up too high with whatever guard you have because you spread it from like right here to here. And you can see the instant transition, like the instant, like there's a demarcation right here. It's also slanting almost downwards, right? So it's like up here and then downwards here. That's part of lighting, it looks like, because it looks like you're cutting in your house. It's part of lighting. And it's part of a lack of like turning the chair and looking at it from different angles and perspectives. Um, but you did a good, like, I could tell you spreading the blend out. You're not afraid to spread the blend out. But you definitely got to keep an eye on, 
become this. You know what I'm saying? So, I mean, reps. Reps is going to help you um, get better because you, you have a decent foundation like the tone. This one is by Isaiah Sabata Siete, seven. So what I would tell you is, you try to do a low fade. You didn't go high up enough with the zero. Cause you, you have this, which you didn't really finish. You could have brought that to a point or or blended it out, or blended it out. But you, you went a little bit too low and you kind of stuck there. And like from here up, it's pretty much like a one. It's like a two up here, it's like a three, four. And then, um, your problem is just spreading the blend to be honest, giving yourself enough space to transition. You didn't go high up enough with the zero. All right, this one's by Yandy Vega. From this angle, it's hard to tell what the tape would look like. The tape looks good from this angle. Looks like you spread the blend out um, enough. And you know, obviously this is a sharp line. It might have been white walled here. You can see like the skin tone, the skin color. From here to here, it looks kind of like a you know white walled. So I wouldn't go up so high around the ear, but the taper in this line right here is looks good. Good job, Yandy. This is by Chris Cuts. This is a nice cut, man. Chris Cuts, good job. I probably would have passed the shaver and brought it up about to like right here with the shaver. Give it that like get rid of that stuff or whatever. But that's a that's a nice cut, man. The scissor work is good. That's what's up, man. Congrats. Don't cut. <laughs> Uh, this one is by BJ Barber, BJ the Barber 20. And uh, I like that you included a before and after. So first thing I would tell you is bring the two guard through here. This two guard would have knocked this out and would have made that a cleaner transition. Right here, I would, I would say like if you're using the masters or even if you're using the walls, just one notch open or just like a little move open and go up about a quarter inch and take this little bit of bulk out. Right, and then right here, you can see a little bit of a dip. Step back, and 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 you'll be able to see that. And then this right here is pretty much it's pretty much the master's closed, and using the corners of it to, to clean that up a little bit more. So hope that helps, bro. This one's by French Fresh Vince of Bel Air. That's catchy. Okay, so what I would tell you first off is is the beard. You know, don't chase a sh don't chase that line. That even line like you could tell that you chased it you chased it you probably wanted to keep it up here keep it here but he probably couldn't catch that sharp line so he kept dipping it and dipping it and before you know it, it slanted way down here and this part is skinnier than this part and it looks i don't know it just looks un unproportioned to me um the blend is nice though bro like the blend is nice i probably would have did the 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 clipper halfway open right in this section with the corners and clean that up right here in this section. That's me being picky, but the blend is nice, bro. Good job, Fresh Vince of Bel Air. Jimbo Nav. Jimbo Nav, okay. Jimbo Nav, where to start? Okay, you dipped the haircut. You started way too high. Or right here, you started like in this section, right? But then you start blending up pretty high up here. Like I can see where, where you you know, you can see the markations here, here, and here. You dipped it way too low, and if you didn't dip it too low, you just didn't go up high enough with the zero. So once you've made your first demarcation with your clipper closed, go up a quarter inch, then open up a little bit, go up another quarter inch. You didn't spread the blend, especially in the back. So that would be my uh, my tip for you. The line in the front looks pretty good. Matt G cuts, and right away I will tell you, um, it looks like you want to do a zero taper. You did the taper way down here, and you got kind of scared to raise the taper up, and then it was like a, a half, and then a one, and then right here you could have tapered that out. It's just fear. It really is. It's just this this haircut I could tell is just fear. Keep practicing, bro. Keep watching the tutorials, and especially on this kind, keep working on them. And in a couple months, I want you to cut his hair again and send it to me again. Let me know that, you know, I've already done, I've already done, uh, let, when you reset me this haircut after you've done it again, after like a month of practicing, let me know um, which segment this was on and uh, we'll do a uh, before and after comparison. So this is by King Cardiel and this is a nice freaking blend. So this is a dope blend, like this is clean. Clean blend. 
Obviously use the shavers on the bottom, nicely done. Now, where you fell short was the lineup. Right here, this is curved. Right here, this kind of got like a hump. Right here, it's got like a little sharp corner. Could have cleaned that up better. Could have cleaned it up, shaped it up nicer. I don't know if you used a razor. Here, you, you should have probably ran like a number two to keep it still dark, but tight enough to where you could put a line and not have like hairs hanging over. Because that looks like a long piece of hair right here. Or comb it over this way to this direction. And just not necessarily on the line, but a little bit further from the line. Tap it, and that'll shorten the, the length. And when you comb it down, you'll have a sharp line. So, but King Cardi, yeah, that's a dope blend. I could definitely see you building clientele with this haircut. This is by Lex D Barber 77. That's a clean beard, bro. Like, this guy right here got can catch a nice, um, nice line on his beard. Full all the way up in this section, which is difficult to get full like that. This is a nice haircut, man. I, I wish I could have got a side profile of the haircut. But from this angle, the beard work is nice, and I can totally see you locking this guy in. Good job, Lex D. Barber. This one is by Toach Fades. Toach Fades, I wish the, the photo was better quality. I don't know if this was like a South of France haircut. Um, could have went maybe a little bit tighter, but then keep kept the blend a little bit lower. Um, especially in this section. If you would have kept this darker, like the, if the transition or the contrast from here to here would have been more... Um, uh, if, if it would have been you know broader it would have looked more like a south of France where because this is light and this is light too it, it looks more like a mohawk so I don't know if you were going for the south of France if you were going for the mohawk but that's fine my two cents Men Diesel 24 all right Men Diesel 24 um right here I would have used the corners of the trimmers to clean this up to get it balder and then like right in the section the shaver I can see you use the shaver down here but use the corners of the trimmer and clean this up, get this tighter. And then this blend would have went like 0 to 100 just by doing that straight up. And then, you know, obviously the C-cup game got to be a little bit tighter. You don't have a razor, it looks like. But that's my two cents, bro. 808 King. All right, so 808 King. Um, right off the bat, I can tell you the zero... You know, same thing with the last haircut. Use the corners of the trimmers and knock this little portion out. Then follow up behind that with the clippers closed, a little bit open, a little bit more open, a little bit more open, and kind of dipping it because it looks like you want to keep a C cup. So you want to do the blending like this. Dipping towards the front, that's what's going to make the blend look lower than, than what you're really doing. And this is the last one. This is by Ismael the Barber. And um, most barbers do not want to show this side of their comb overs because it's not, it doesn't lay nicely. It sticks out or it has like, it's just rigid as hell. Um, it's easy to blend the other side where you have the part and you just, you know what I'm saying? Um, what I would tell you is on this haircut, the blend is straight. Right here, I probably would have went with the blade halfway open and with the corners, clean this section up. And then right here, maybe all the way open, clean this section up. Right here with the trimmers, maybe with the corners, clean this section up. Here, it looks like the hair wants to grow this way. Not necessarily down, but this way. I'd pay attention to that and comb the hair, you know, with comb it over, but comb it over this way, like this. Where you see this is going like this, I would have combed it over going this way. See what I'm saying? And cut against the grain with it. Um, here probably would have been like a four or a five in this section. Scissors obviously on the top and um, some thinning shears a little bit thin shears in the section and I think it would have came out a little bit nicer so but this is this is dope and and big ups to you for showing this side of the cut because most comb overs they don't want to show this side so that's it guys thank you so much for tuning in to another one of these your haircuts my feedback segments and uh, look forward to see you guys on the next one don't forget my haircut tutorials. Don't forget the vlogs. Don't forget to subscribe. Smash the like button. And we'll see you on the next one. My 245 family. Love you guys. We out.